In this FlexSim Basics video, we are going to discuss the three major object classifications in FlexSim, what they do, and how to use them. When the term object is used in FlexSim, it is a reference to the most basic building block of a simulation, the resources that work together to recreate a real-world system. These generally fall into one of two superclasses, Fixed Resource and Task Executor. Within these superclasses, there are many different classes of objects, from processors and queues to transporters and operators and everything in between, all designed to help you build an accurate simulation model. The other type of object in FlexSim is not referred to as an object at all. It's called a flow item. Flow items are the actual entities that flow through a simulation and can be products, customers, paperwork, or anything else the simulation calls for. Fixed resources, task executors, and flow items provide the basis for a FlexSim model, a collection of these three object types assembled together to simulate a logical system. Let's go more in depth on each of these objects. Start a new model in FlexSim and use your mouse to drag out a source, a queue, a processor, and a sync from the library and place them in the 3D view of your model. Each of these objects are fixed resources, and you might have noticed that the library has conveniently organized these and all other fixed resources into their own section. Use regular A connections to connect these objects from the source to the sink, creating a basic system. If you need a refresher on connections, watch the FlexSim Basics video on port connections. Fixed resources are the objects that send or receive flow items and they're also the most common object type you will use. They're referred to as fixed because they're stationary, and once they're placed in the model field, they will stay there unless manipulated by the user. Like any other fixed resource, the objects we're using will work with flow items. The source introduces flow items into the system, the queue stores flow items, the processor processes flow items, and the sync destroys or recycles flow items. These attributes make fixed resources the backbone of any model, and their behavior will dictate the workings of the system. Task executors are the mobile resources in a FlexSim model. Drag an operator and a transporter from the library and into the model. Using center port or S connections, connect the operator to the queue and the transporter to the processor. Click to highlight the queue and check the Use Transport box located in the Quick Properties on the right pane. Do the same for the processor. These task executors have mobility within a model and can perform certain tasks, including transporting, operation, and others. These tasks are instructions given to the task executor by fixed resources, telling them what to do, where to do it, and how. For instance, when we used a center port connection to link our operator with the queue and check the use transport box, we enabled the queue to give the operator the task of transporting flow items leaving the queue over to the processor. The final object classification is the flow item. These are the actual objects that are passed around your model. Flow items are FlexSim objects and share many structural elements and features of the fixed resource and the task executor. For instance, all three can carry user-defined data that can be set and queried when different events happen in the model. But, as you can see, the flow items are not currently present in the model view. They are created by the source and then eventually removed by the sink. To change which flow item is being introduced into the system, we can click to highlight the source and use the flow item class drop-down menu in the quick properties to select a different flow item class. If you click the flow item bin button in the toolbar, you have the ability to adjust several properties of each flow item class, including the shape, color, size, and even animation and packing method. Click on the Model tab to get back to the 3D view, and let's see these objects in action. Click Reset and then Run in the toolbar to get things started. The flow items are moving from the source to the sink, simulating products moving through a system. The fixed resources are directing the simulation, introducing flow items at user-defined intervals, queuing them up, processing them, and then removing them from the system. The task executors are transporting flow items between fixed resources. If we didn't have them, the flow items would pass instantly from one object to another, as they are between the source and the queue. It's important to understand the function of each of these objects and how they can be used in your simulation model. Thank you for watching. 
For more information on FlexSim products, or to view more tips and tricks for successful modeling, please visit www.flexsim.com.